Now let's see how to make these split screens inside the Premiere Pro. For the first split screen I'm using these four video clips, and every video resolution is 1920 by 1080 Now select the first video clip, and move over to the Effect Controls tab. Then make the scale size 50%, and do the same thing for the other three clips. Then again select the first video clip, and move the position to the left and top, until the black background on the left and top has completely disappeared. For the second clip, move the position to the left and bottom. For the third clip, move the position to the right and top. And for the last clip, move the position to the right and bottom. Okay, it's perfect. Now the last step is how to make the border. So select the pen tool, and draw a line between the four clips. Then under the Effect Controls tab, click on the Shape drop-down arrow key. Deselect the fill, and enable the stroke. Now make the stroke size around 15. Also you can change the stroke color as well. Then make another stroke top to bottom. Let's small the screen size, so easily I can draw this line. Then going back to the fit. And that's it. Now click on V to select the Move tool, and adjust graphic layer duration with your clips. So that's it for the first split screen. Now let's see how to make the second split screen. And here I'm using these three video clips. Select the first video clip. And make the scale size 50. Again select the second video clip, and make the scale size 50. Then change the first video clip position to the left top. And change the second video clip position to the left bottom. Now select the third video clip, move over to the effects tab, and search for crop effect. Apply this effect to the third video. Then move to the effect controls tab. Under the crop effect, change the left and right value 25%. Then move the position to the left side. And that's all. Now if you want to change the border color, mark the all layers, and move them one track above. Then go to the project panel, click on the new layer icon, and create a new color mat. You can choose any color, I like to use white color for the border. Then just drag and drop it under the layers. And adjust the color mat duration. So that's it for the second split screen. Now let's see how to make the third split screen. And here I'm using these three clips. Move over to the effects tab, and search for radial wipe. Now two time apply this effect on the first layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the first radial wipe effect, set the transition completion 50%. And change the start angle 130 degrees. Then change the wipe center something like that. Now under the second radial wipe, set the transition completion 50%. And change the start angle negative 50 degrees. Then again change the wipe center something like that. Now select the second clip, then resize and reposition it, until it fills the space in the left bottom corner. Again select the third clip, and do the same thing for the right top corner. Okay, it's perfect. Now let's make the border. So select the pen tool, and make small the screen size, then draw a line over the border, between the two clips. Now set the screen size to fit, and adjust the graphic layer duration. And that's it for the third split screen. Now let's see how to make the last split screen, and it's pretty easy to do. Here I'm using these three clips, 
and these clips are shot by smartphone. Now select the first clip, and change the position to left side. Then select the third clip, and change the position to right side. Now if you want to change the border color, mark these three layers, and move them one track above. Then going back to the project panel, and make a new color mat. Here you can choose any color. Then put it under the layers, and adjust the duration. So that's all for the split screens. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.